Hey, what's up everybody? It's Matt with Flight Sim Guides and in this video we're going to make a new flight simulator using Amazon. So uh, my goal here is to create uh, an at-home home flight simulator that you can just go to Amazon, find the parts and pieces that you want and pick it up. It should be easy, it should be quick, it shouldn't cost you a ton of money and you should be able to create something that's honestly pretty decent. So. Um, I've created one of these videos in the past, so this is an updated version for 2025, 2026 time period. So it, it is, we're kind of coming up towards uh, November. It's almost November, guys. So let's uh, let's dig in and see what we can find. So, all right, so jumping in, we are looking at Amazon. We're looking for uh, the keywords flight sim avionics, okay? You can do a, a search for pretty much anything you want, but... Well, you go with flight sim, flight sim components, flight sim avionics, home flight simulator. You could start with a lot of different things. I'm just kind of giving you some base, basic keywords that you could start with. Um, but let's start with this and just kind of look at some flight sim stuff here that you can get. So, And you can get it right on Amazon. I'll leave the links for everything that I'm talking about that I think is worthwhile down in the description. So um, so if you get something, you don't like it, you could just return it. Um, let's take a look at some of this stuff. First thing that popped up that I thought was really cool is this up here, this Flight Simulator Instrument 6-pack um, up here. And this is actually Altimeter Motives. So if you guys aren't familiar with Altimeter Motives, they create like a little overlay um, that you can get, and it actually mounts to a Honeycomb Bravo. I think it's the Bravo Honeycomb Alpha flight controls. But it'll actually attach to the top of this, or it will attach to the top of the, uh, the LG yoke as well, which is really cool. So uh, let's take a quick look at this. Um, it's again, it's going to come with like a little screen behind it. It's going to come with the mounting panel. It's going to come with the knobs, uh, pre-set up. All you have to do is literally pick this up and then plant it, uh, whatever, stick it on top of your yoke, stick it wherever you want to mount it. And then, um, you, you, there's actually imagery here. You can actually see it on top of the honeycomb there. These ones are not, that one's actually mounted on top of the LG over there. So we're uh, making assumptions that it will mount on these uh, particular systems. It also has the knob, so all you have to do um, is, so it's got an Arduino or something set up for you. Like, if you want a six-pack setup, this is perfect for you for pretty much any small aircraft, and all you have to do is plug it right into your system. So here's a few different things. The LG in here, um, I've got one of these. I think this works great. I do think it feels like a Fisher-Price piece of junk, though. No offense to Fisher-Price or the LG yoke. But it is pretty decent out of 2.7 2 thousand uh, views. It does get a 4.2. It's not bad. It gets the job done. It doesn't feel like a high quality yoke in your hand though. The Turtle Beach Velocity 1. I've seen this one kind of come and go. And I think for the price, if you have a little extra to put into it, you're going to get a, uh, a better well-rounded system that's more capable of a lot of different things. It's got switch paint. Last time I checked... Box Series X, Series X, X1, Windows 10 and 11 PCs with yoke handle throttle. Okay, so if you have a Windows machine, I think that this will work fine if you're using this with like uh, X, X Plane. Designed for Xbox, Velocity 1 is designed for Xbox and Windows titles like Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, X Plane, Elite Dangerous, War Thunder, and more. Okay, so it will work with, with that. That's the biggest thing I wanted to, to make sure before I send you guys into battle. Um, but this is a uh, really nice. Uh, piece here um, that's definitely worth trying out. I have not personally tried this, um, but uh, Turtle Beach, if you guys are out there and want to send me one, I'm happy to try it out. So you got the dual throttles over there. You got the trim wheel. You got the TPMs. You got the levers. It also looks like you can swap those out. I was wondering, I was kind of looking at it a little bit closer because I thought, I wonder if this can be used for multi-engine. And I think the answer to that is probably not real easily. So, um, but real good options there. Hey, did you know that I put together a uh, flight sim program, how to build your own home flight simulator? So if you want to know more about that, how to build your own home flight simulator, what goes into it, the avionics, a flight sim panel, um, all the good stuff. You can get parts and pieces right off of Amazon, and I'll point out the other places as well. Go check that out. Um, I'll leave a link down in the comments in the description. Um, go scope that out and uh, see for yourself what it takes to build a, a home flight simulator. It's not that bad. All right, see you. Okay, rudder pedals, uh, Logitech G Pro Flight rudder pedals. They, they're going to have that plasticky sound when you're moving them back and forth. I say back and forth on the floor like that. 
Um, but they, they also get a 4.6, so they're doing something right. Uh, 4.6 out of 5 with 2,700 ratings. So uh, definitely pick that up. But if you hate it, just return it, right? So uh, lots of other options. Here you got the Thrustmaster T-Flight full kit. Here it looks like it works with Xbox and PC. Um, so if you would prefer the, the joystick option there. And it looks like this comes with uh, rudder pedals as well for 207 bucks. Not a bad deal. This here, if you want the whole kit and caboodle, 359 bucks, 4.5. Um, there, that's not a bad deal. Um, the Honeycomb Bravo throttle quadrant here. Honeycomb Alpha. So this is Honeycomb Alpha. This is Honeycomb Bravo. All right, trying to keep these things straight. Um, these are really good options. They've gotten really good reviews. Um, if you're looking for upgraded controls, 4.6 um, there um, out of 10. And then the down here, you've got 4.8. Uh, definitely, if I redid things, I would definitely think about doing the Honeycomb route. <clears throat> I like to keep things uh, in the same family, so I would probably do the Honeycomb Alpha and the Honeycomb Bravo. Now, here's my thoughts on the, uh, the, 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 the FIP, the flight instrument panel. You have to basically buy a whole bunch of these um, in order to create a six pack and it's not in my opinion it's not nearly worth it um, I would definitely go with that Al altimeter motives um, the only cool thing about this this is customizable you can create all the fips you want but you're gonna spend out your butt for it so you I mean 1200 bucks for an eight pack so that you would be able to do a few things and it doesn't even you know there you're probably gonna be missed I think if you had eight of these that would be enough to customize a really nice um, panel, um, you get your six pack plus maybe two extras that you could use with some for something else. Um, so uh, by something else, I mean you know uh, maybe a VOR receiver so that you could actually you know fly instruments. So lots of cool options, very customizable. I, the people that I've heard of that have these really like them, but I, I can't get behind the price point on these at all. Um, so uh, that's up to you. The Logitech G Pro Flight, the flight switch panel for 99 bucks. I would buy this again. <clears throat> it's kind of a pain in the neck to set up, but it's not too bad. You just install some software and it goes together pretty decently there. Um, so I do have that and I do have that in my, my current setup. Um, definitely worth it. It's got a little key thing over there. Gear up, gear down switch, and then all of the light switches, the avionics, the master switch, all the lights for the aircraft are going to be on there. Let's go back to avionics real quick. Again, I would do this. Uh, the radio panel, if you wanted to get the old school Bendix King style here, uh, I would definitely pick this up. I haven't used it, but um, I, I love the, uh, the switch back and forth, the simplicity of this, and being able to use this for whatever it is that you're using it for. So um, one thing you, you, you do want to look out for if you get this is... You basically, you set it for what you're going to use it for on the side over here. You see how you can set it to like COM1, COM2, NAV1, NAV2. Yeah, I don't believe that you can just switch back and forth in the middle. I could be wrong. If I am, please correct me if you guys have used this. I think you have to set it and forget it and then use it for whatever you set it for. So if you want a COM1, a COM2, and a NAV1, for instance, you would literally need four of these in the aircraft. Um, so it, to me, that seems a little bit excessive. Uh, I could, I, again, I could be wrong. Let me know, um, for those of you guys who have used this, um, but I would definitely pick one of these up if I were going to be building an LG system. All right, let's look at panels real quick. If you guys are looking for a uh, flight simulator panel, the Mesa flight simulator cockpit, um, you could get, grab one of these if you want something to mount all this stuff in. These are great for the LG panels, by the way. Um, so if you guys are putting together an LG panel and want to put all this stuff in there, see how this dude's got like eight one he's got eight nine he's got nine fips in there he's got radio one radio two like i said he's got two of these one probably for radio uh you know radio one or com one and com two and then he's got the switch panel this is actually a really nice looking little panel and he's using it with the honeycomb that that looks lg ish so i don't know if he's using the honey honeycomb with an lg uh multi multi-engine levers there for the tpm so interesting little setup i like what he's got going on here um these are this is kind of like a hard flexible plastic um if you guys do pick one of these up so you're going to get that hard flexible plastic and kind of punch out the parts and pieces that you want to use 
and then you would just install the LG pieces. It should be, all the holes should be pre-configured, ready to go, and then this will mount uh, directly to your desk. There's a lot of great items in here. Desktop Pilot makes good stuff. Let's look real quick at what they have. That looks like a nice little unit, but for a, a switch panel, I think 249 bucks is a little overkill. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, the Desktop Pilot switch panel could be well worth uh, trying out here. Just make sure that you have a way to, to mount it. Same thing with the, uh, the trim wheel and any of these TPMs. Uh, quadrants that you guys get. Uh, I love what I love about these guys is that they have a lot of these little parts and pieces um, that you can get kind of a la carte to build out your system. Just make sure you have a place to mount it if you guys are picking this stuff up. So, so the only other thing that I would bring up, what are you guys going to put all this on? If you guys already have a PC, that's great. Um, but I would look up gaming PC as well. Uh, it, it's not going to take a lot to run a flight. It really doesn't these days. An i9, 3.2 gigahertz, RTX 5070? Are they, I didn't even know they were up. I'm running 3080. I thought they were in the 40s. So if you got something with a 5070, you're getting overkill with a 32 gigabyte, 2 terabyte PCI, Windows 11. I Like I said, the i9. This is a great system, and it costs literally half as much as what I put into my original one. If I were to, to, to do this again, I would pick something up like this fresh off the block and not even have to worry about building it. Uh, honestly, it probably wouldn't be a bad idea just to grab a regular 4K TV that's 55 inches and just run that. And then you could always get the uh, side monitors and set those up as well. So many great options. Uh, I think these forward-only monitors are great um, if you're getting into instrument flying. If you want to have a fully immersed wrap around thing that you're doing you're gonna want to go with uh probably a three three fifty five inch tvs or i would say at least 43 inches maybe as much as 50 or 55 and do a forward one and then two on the sides that way you can have that wrap around experience uh lots of great options uh definitely grab something that makes sense for your budget uh the best part about it if you don't like what you get you can return it and try something else so um that's yeah that's all i got guys Hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, updated how to create your Amazon flight simulator video uh, for 2025, 2026. I'll catch up with you guys later. Right. Hey, if you haven't already done so, head over to EliteSimBuild.com, grab a copy of our home flight simulator resource guide. Do that thing where you click the button, give us your email address, and we will send you a copy of our simulator guides where you can get the resource list, the avionics reviews, a panel blueprint. So that way you guys can send that off to your panel guy get all the parts and pieces that you need you'll know exactly what software to pick up so you can get your Cessna 172 flight simulator built today